So what is a VAT threshold and what must happen when you cross it? So a threshold is the amount of money you can earn before you have to register for VAT. You need to look at your taxable turnover, which is the total value of everything you sell or supply, but excludes exempt supplies. If your taxable turnover in a 12 month period exceeds the threshold, then you must register for VAT. You must note that this 12 month period is a rolling 12 months and is not linked to your financial year or your tax year. The VAT threshold for registration is currently £85,000. This threshold has been in place since 2017 and has been fixed until March 2024. It can, however, change after this date, so you need to keep your eye on this. Once your taxable turnover exceeds this threshold, you must register for VAT. Another important thing to note is this includes everybody, including sole traders. There are also other thresholds which apply to VAT. Another important one here to note is that if your taxable turnover exceeds 1.35 million and you're using the cash accounting scheme, you can no longer use this scheme and need to change to the accruals. So what happens then when you cross the threshold? So when your VAT taxable turnover exceeds the £85,000 in a 12 month period, or you expect it to exceed the £85,000 threshold, you must then register for VAT. You've got 30 days to register, and it's very easy. Most businesses can register on the link on HMRC's government website. Once you've registered, you will receive a VAT registration certificate, which will show your registration number, your date of first registration, and will also give details about your first payment. From your registration date, you are then responsible for charging VAT on all invoices which you raise for goods that you sell and supplies that you make. You will, however, also be able to reclaim the VAT on any purchases that you make for your business. You will have to submit VAT returns and you will also have to keep VAT records.